paycheck to paycheck? If so, you have plenty of company. Eyewitness News reporter Bruce Kopp shows us new survey results that find nearly half of all Americans are now in that category. This survey found when they asked people, more consumers are living... Joshua Weiskup says he's not surprised with the latest findings. He can relate to them firsthand. And it wasn't too long ago my wife and I were living paycheck to paycheck. Joshua says he and his family have had to relocate to find work that offers enough pay to keep up with monthly expenses. And we had to make some big changes to make some improvements. He says something as simple as avoiding name brand products can make a difference in daily expenses. Expenses that have kept nearly half of Americans from saving enough. A study commissioned by Fifth Third Bank finds that when it comes to saving money for the big things, like a home, a car, or a college education, many Americans aren't saving anything. The survey finds that 47% say they frequently live paycheck to paycheck. Another survey finds that 63% don't have the savings to cover a $500 car repair or a $1,000 medical bill. I would say just impulse buying. Um, a lot of people spend money on things they can't afford. I think people just choose to do other things as opposed to save. What the issue is, not focusing on a budget. Financial planner Bill Cummins says the goal is to have three to six months of living expenses at all times. For those short on money, that is a daunting task. So the approach, he says, is baby steps, to consistently save small amounts until you reach your goal. By the time they do that, they've learned how to cut back on expenses and do some saving and they can transfer that same skill to start reaching out to meet the three to six month um, savings goal. Financial planners say putting away as little as $40 a month can be a productive start as that reserve grows keep building to reach the goal to cover three to six months of expenses. Bruce Kopp, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And